other office. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it has been an unbelievable run and an uncomfortable run of heat in a good part of the nation. It started last week and it continues over the next day or two before it breaks. And remember, folks, it's not anywhere near summer just yet. The heat's on across the north and the southeast with soaring early June temperatures into the upper 90s. In some areas, oppressive humidity making it feel like 110. I wonder an excessive heat watch tonight. We broke another record high. And residents in many parts of the country are suffering. In Raleigh, North Carolina, so much heat, the outdoor Special Olympics were canceled. While this heat wave, like all other heat waves, is made by Mother Nature, we've been fooling around by turning the knob and making a little bit hotter. Dr. Steven Eider of Stanford University believes climate change is also playing a role. We've already increased by 35% the amount of carbon dioxide, which traps heat. We've, we've added 150% more methane, which also traps heat. Some cities seeing record temperatures, Norfolk, Virginia reaching 101 degrees, a high that hasn't been seen since 1899. In Williamsport, Pennsylvania, the mercury hit 96 degrees, tying a mark set in 1925. Since June 1st, 90 records have been tied or broken. The only relief in sight, if you have them, public pools forced to open early for some pre-summer swimming. Oh, it's hot today. Either stay in the house in AC or come out here to the pool. Now, people did try to get out in this heat over the weekend, and a lot of folks were out playing around in it. But at the Susan G. Komen Race for a Cure in Washington, D.C., 34 people had to be pulled for that race to be treated for heat stroke. Now, behind this system, just west of this system, so on the map, we call that behind, uh, running through Illinois is the strong cold front that will break this heat in the east. But it's got weather problems of its own. Severe storms, tornadoes, flooding. Our Barbara Pinto's in Rickton Park, Illinois, with that story this morning. Good morning, Barbara.